In this movie, I'll show you an unconventional approach to correcting color cast that involves a command known as photo filter. And I've gone ahead and centered the final image, which is this layer at the bottom of the stack, photo filter. So I'll go ahead and select it. Now the purpose of photo filter is to simulate those old style lens filters that used to be more popular back in the days of film photography. Now that we've gone digital, those filters have been largely supplanted by post-processing. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to grab the eyedropper once again, and you want to click on that pillow or other neutral image element in order to lift its color. And you can see that we go from a gray color along the bottom to that low saturation orange. And then you want to note the values here inside the color panel. Every time you click with the eyedropper, you are going to get different values. Just bear that in mind. But I got some very close values, a hue of 32 and a saturation of 26. So I'll just go ahead and write those values down because they'll become important in a moment. As with color balance, you can apply photo filters and adjustment layer. So I'll go ahead and bring up the adjustments panel and I'll click on this little camera icon, which creates a photo filter layer. Photoshop will switch me to the properties panel and you can see by default, the program wants to warm up the image. Here's what you want to do. Switch to the color option and then click on the color swatch in order to bring up the color picker dialog box and notice how it starts off with the HSB values. Go ahead and crank that brightness value up to 100% and then change the saturation to whatever the saturation of the cast is. In our case, 26%, as we can actually still see here inside the color panel. Then you want to either add 180 degrees or subtract 180 degrees to the hue value. So you may be able to do that in your head. If not, just use the calculator on your cell phone. But in our case, 32 plus 180 gives you 212 degrees, which is a shade of blue. If your color cast value, the one you lifted with the eyedropper, has a hue value of more than 180 degrees, you would subtract 180 instead. These are the values that are going to work for us. Now I'll click OK in order to accept that color. The next step is to crank the density value all the way up to 100%. So we're essentially compensating for the undesirable color cast by applying its complementary color. Now you want to make sure preserve luminosity is checked as it is by default. And you'll end up with this effect here. Now it's obviously better. I'll turn the layer off. We can see we've got a very warm color cast. I'll turn the layer back on, and the color cast has been largely defeated. The one problem is that we end up depleting the saturation values in the image as well. And that's kind of curious because just as photo filter reduces the saturation values, you can see that color balance increase the saturation values. So I'm going to show you how to adjust saturation so that both of the images look their best in the next movie.